Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Wednesday, June 3rd, 2015, around 7.52 in the evening in Berwicka, Massachusetts. It turned out to be a sunny day around here, around 3.30 or so, and it was real chilly for most of the day. Felt more like early April or early October, but it rebounded very nicely into the 60s for the rest of the week. It's going to be 60s and 70s, and it's going to be decent. We're on it the way to summer, hopefully, and stuff. Some news to report. Boston Red Sox beat the Minnesota Twins in Game 1 of a doubleheader by a score of 6-3. to three. Other news, Molly Lemieux, owner of the Pittsburgh Penguins, is looking into selling part or all of the Pittsburgh Penguins. There's rumors he might want to stay on as my honor, my gnarly owner of the Penguins, but the Penguins are going to stay put in Pittsburgh because they have a new arena, long-term lease, and the Florida Panthers and the Arizona Coyotes are staying where they are despite rumors that they're on the verge of relocating or file for bankruptcy. That's what Gary Bettman said a couple of hours ago at a press conference for Game 1 of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Stanley Cup final playoffs. And Grit TV this summer in July are going to get reruns of Waka Texas Ranger. Good news. That's about it on that. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about a Celtics legend. He's been with the Celtics organization for close to 60 years in one capacity or another. I'm talking about Tommy Heinsohn. Tommy Heinsohn's been with the Celtics since 1956 as either a player, broadcaster, or coach, and he's still going strong. Um, Tommy was born in Jersey City, New Jersey, and he played high school at St. Michael's in nearby Union City, New Jersey, as a forward and a center. He was a pretty good basketball player, and then... He played college basketball at Holy Cross in Worcester, Massachusetts. He's the all-time leading scorer of the Holy Cross Crusaders with 1,789 points, averaging 22.1 um, points per game. When he was a senior, he was first-team All-American. That's pretty good. He played forward and center. And then... Tommy Heinsohn was drafted by the Boston Celtics in 1956 when they had the territory draft for the NBA teams could draft co local college players who were nearby and they drafted Tommy Heinsohn. That was a great move because Tommy Heinsohn played nine seasons with the Boston Celtics. Six times he played in the NBA All-Star Game. Eight times he won an NBA title. 1957, he was Rookie of the Year. He was a very, very great player. He was a great like shooter and stuff. He averaged a lot of points per game. And he was president, the second president of the NBA Players Association. And he fought with the NBA Players Association to get free agency in the NBA. And in 1964, they almost boycotted the All-Star Game in Boston, Massachusetts. They came down to the final hours and the game was going to be played at the Boston Garden in 1964, televised on ABC, and Tommy Heinsohn really got the players together saying we're going to strike or not play if you don't give us free agency and stuff. NBA gave in because they wanted primetime exposure for ABC because if they lost that primetime exposure, the NBA could, be in, could have been in serious trouble. And then Tommy Heinsohn retired at the end of the 1964-65 season. His career stats were 12,194 points, averaging 18.6 per game, um, 6,748 nine rebounds, 8.8 .8 rebounds per game, and 1,318 assists, averaging two points per game, um, two assists per game. And one time he retired, he, he started calling Boston Celtics games on television as a play-by-play -play announcer in 1966 for WKBG, which was Channel 56 at the time. They carried a lot of Celtics games, and, a, and his color commentator was Red Auerbach. He called Celtics games for three years on television. 
Then in 1969, Tommy went into the coaching ranks, coaching the Boston Celtics. He coached them. He coached the Boston Celtics for eight and a half seasons. Six times, Celtics made the playoffs under his watch. And he was NBA Coach of the Year in 1973. He won two NBA championships as a coach. 1974 and 1976. Midway through the 1977-78 season, Tommy Heinsohn was relieved of his coaching duties for the Boston Celtics, and his career coaching record was 427 wins, 263 losses. That was the regular season. In the playoffs, he had a record of 47 and 33. And beginning in 1981, Tommy. Um, was the color man for Boston Celtics games with on, on Prism, which turned into Sports Channel New England and Fox Sports Net New England and then Comcast Sports Net New England. And as, and as like play-by-play -play partner was Mike Gorman. They've been together for over 34 years, which is pretty amazing. Also, Tommy's done like been color man for games for NBA games on CBS. He did some of the NCAA basketball tournament for CBS back in the 80s. And in 1990, um, Tommy started like calling, being a play-by-play -play announcer of Boston Celtics games on like for the low games for about nine seasons on WFXT Fox 25, WSBK TV 38, and WABU TV 68 with um, Bob Cousy and stuff. He did that for about nine years. And Tommy Heinsohn always says colorful stuff and stuff. He's a very great color man and stuff. He loves to give out Tommy points. One of his most famous sayings was, I love Walter. Walter is former Red, um, former Celtics player Walter McCarty, who was basically was basically a fringe NBA player, backup N NBA player, but he Walter had a cult following by Tommy Heinsohn and stuff. Over the years, Tommy Heinsohn's an avid painter. He owned an insurance company and stuff. He bleeds Celtics. Probably, he's probably the greatest living Celtics legend there is, besides Bill Russell and Larry Bird. Um, Tommy has slowed down in recent years and stuff because of his health and also he experienced the death of his wife. He just basically does Celtics home games as a on Comcast Sportsnet New England and he's sometimes in the studio when they have low games and stuff. The Celtics retired number 15 for him years ago in 1986 he was voted for the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame. As a player, in 2015, he was voted into the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame. As a coach, he's one of a select few as a player and the coach. Others are Bill Sharman, who also played for the Celtics, um, Lenny Wilkins, and John Wooden. That's a pretty amazing group of company. And that's about it on Tommy Heinsohn. And that's about it on these video blogs, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Hope you enjoyed them. We'll be doing three more. I'll be doing three more tomorrow. First, we'll be about the top ten Chicago Blackhawks defensemen of all time. Then the second video blog will be about the Old Court Restaurant and Bar in downtown Lowell, Massachusetts. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about um, Scott Zolak, former Patriots quarterback and current Patriots color man on the 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 sports um, hub ninety eight point five. And lots of great things coming happen soon. Saturday will be the one year anniversary of doing these video blogs. Um, for the first time, there'll be a special one year anniversary video blog. And have a good night, everybody. And in the words of Dr. Thomas Shockey, this action will not be tolerated in BNHS. And also my other famous saying is, keep calm. And I'm a Julie Broughton guy. Bye now.